Hey there, tubers. Redneck Brian here. Happy New Year. I am back with the uh, Parts HP DV1000. This video is for YouTube user TH1994035. Uh, he just did a video recently showing all the parts that he has for HP DV4000. Uh, okay, I just want to show him another couple of another few picks of mine. Here is an original HP DV uh, battery. I am not 100% not sure if these batteries will fit different models. Let me see if I can get that clearer. There we go. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, the batteries are looks look relatively similar. The only non-similarity between the two computers is right here, the power jack. The power jack on this one is actually is actually okay um, it's not the power was was not the problem it was the internal power supply right in here which is the issue um, that's what the issue is with this one um, it will not charge from here I actually have never I don't believe I've ever tried this one to see if it will do it anymore or not um, actually see I only have one uh, one good power supply for these it's on my other, uh, it's on my good DV1000. So, yeah, that's that's the reason why I haven't. The hard drives are are relatively similar. Let me open up my hard drive base. That again, is the parts machine. Um, whenever I was watching the video, I have it up on my uh, screen still. I was comparing a few things. And... I'll be bringing over the other computer possibly in a second as well. See, the yours have like the double step here. As you can see, there's a row of pins on the top and a row of pins down near the bottom. See, that's the this is an IDE style hard drive, like I was saying in a message to you. Um, yours, I couldn't really tell. If I had the double layer, I'll show you with the uh, with the uh, screwdriver. Right here, here's a layer of pins. If you can't, if you can see that, then just down below, there's another layer of pins right here. And how it design, how it's designed, the hard drive hooks in right here to these two little pins, and then it locks down over the both sets of pins on this side. So. I couldn't necessarily tell on yours if yours was like that or not. So, again, I I will sell this to you without any issues. Uh, another thing that was different, you showed your motherboard. Uh, my audio or the audio jacks, I believe, are with the uh, network. My audio jacks are on the front, and my network jack is on the side right here where it has a uh, USB uh, eth uh, modem ethernet and this one here is an expansion port I do have the cable for this obviously it won't be sold with the machine it is for to connect to a uh, TV uh, it outputs RCA uh, I believe it also has audio outputs through this as well and that's just your standard monitor plug also mine has a remote. I don't know if yours has a remote or not. That's primarily why I bought the DV, this version of the DV uh, series of laptops, because it has a uh, remote with it. So it allows you to watch movies from the computer to your television, and you can pause it without having to use a keyboard, without having to use a mouse. This is a feature I liked about this machine. So. Also, but my TV over there, my big screen, has a uh, monitor plug on it. It's basically a giant computer monitor. It can be set up that way. So, again, my audio jacks are on the front. My power supply is not even connected into the motherboard, as far as I know. As far as I know, it's a totally separate piece. There is my uh, CD-ROM right here. I don't think that necessarily matters. Let me see if I can get it out of there quickly or not. Don't want to make this video too long. I think I've had this one out before. I don't remember. Nope. Oh, and uh, 
Peter went off pause. No screw in that side. Don't think there's at least. There it goes. There's the screw. Overall, this machine is actually in reasonably good condition. So, okay. Here is the uh, the drive from mine. To me, they all they all rel relatively look the same. So this is the drive, and as far as I know, this drive is completely functional. Uh, whenever the machine did boot up there the other day, I'm not going to boot it up today. Um, it did uh, have no issues. So I could grab the battery and put the battery on it. But no point really because you've seen it boot up already so one second here slide that back in partially the screw here did not hold it it held something else as far as i know yeah it's just the screw right here holding the cd rom yep there so it's like I said, it's up to you if you want to if you want to purchase this. Um, does that's it's no loss to me if you decide not to. Like I said in the last uh, personal message, so no loss to me. It's just a parts machine for my other one, but hey, if I can help someone out by selling it, I will. Let me just get the screw out. Second here. There we go. I like how you said on your video, um, you can take apart an engine and put an engine back together, but a computer, you're lost. I, I uh, me, I am good with both computers and laptops, or computers and engines. Sorry, but laptops, I'm at a loss of a laptop as well. As long as I have like, um, say I take pictures of it as I do it, I'd probably be all right. But that's pretty much it. And I also want to show you the keyboard again. Yours was different in the design of here as well, and also your screen looked bigger. So, like I said, it's up to you. Also, if it's all the only thing you need is the information off the hard drive, you can buy a, a laptop hard drive enclosure for I believe about forty, maybe forty-five dollars. Um, just bring the hard drive to a computer store. Make sure that you don't uh, drop it uh, or shake it around too much because you may damage the actual drive. Um, they will tell you what the style hard drive it is, either SATA or IDE. And they can sell you an enclosure, and basically you put the hard drive into the enclosure, and you can, it basically turns that laptop hard drive into an external. I actually have one right there. That's one right there, isn't it? That was the original hard drive, and it's a 40 gig. That was the original hard drive that was in this machine. Because the, that was in this machine. Because that machine there, my good one, that's over there sitting on top of that computer, uh, did not come with a hard drive, and I was lucky that this one here came with a hard drive and came with the enclosure to the hard drive. So, and basically, I did exactly the same thing on this as I'm doing with this one here. This is the trash pick computer. I got it working and I contacted the original owner, which I luckily I knew with this one who the original owner was. So, I was able to ask if needed data, and in this case, the person did not. So, Again, if, if, that, if that's all you need, you can actually buy the enclosure, so uh, it's totally up to you. So it's up to you what you want to do. That does not bother me. I will ship it out. I will hold off. It's not going anywhere, so talk to you later. Please uh, view this video. Um, yeah, so if you need any more videos, I will do more videos of showing this. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck and happy new year. Please subscribe and comment. Just a quick overlook. One more quick look. 
And again, this machine is fully functional other than the uh, internal power regulator. I believe that's what it was that went wrong. But as you saw in the previous video, it works off battery. Bye for now.